Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. This story occurred in Wood Green, North London. I've got another story on Wood Green today because this place is so active and it's being ignored so much. It involves Calvin Adunye, who was assassinated outside the View Cinema in Wood Green at 12.30am in March of 2018. He was shot in the head by a gunman from a moped, a 125 moped that rid past and opened fire. They did confirm that he was the rapper named as Dipdat, associated to the Wood Green gang WG. He was also known as Lamps, and anybody with two nicknames from my experience, means they're quite established. Stop talking to Fez, like, how you gonna give them food? Blacked out in the one seven. Do you wanna even know who's who? My young boy's all on violence. Trucks just itching to shoot. Don't be stepping so loose. Hashtag my head no screws. To get two nicknames is quite rare. He was actually the first fatal shooting of 2018 in a part of what the police called a postcode war between Wood Green and nearby Tottenham. A police source said the killing was being treated as gang related. It was claimed Calvin was not a gang member but socialized with people who was. His mother said he was in the wrong place at the wrong time at the family home in harrow she told the standard he was a lovely jovial boy he was clever and loved by all who knew him he had everything going for him she said that relatives including his father who runs a property business in nigeria had paid her son's school fees at a prestigious twenty-six thousand pound a year full neck school in pudsey west yorkshire as a boarder which meant that he stayed in this school in Pudsey, West Yorkshire, 26 grand a year. He had ambitions to work in the oil industry. So this for me is mind blowing. It's actually a first to, to actually get a drill artist who in actual fact has a lot of family support. In anyone's opinion, he come from a well off family, 26 grand a year, private school, I, I, I struggle to understand why he was even on road. What happened, his mum explained, we sent him away because it was the best school for him. I have always lived in London, but when he moved to Wood Green, we moved there for a short time. I got scared for my family. They then moved shortly afterwards to Harrow and she told him to never go back to Wood Green. But what had happened is, Calvin had made friends in Wood Green. He'd become associated to the gang in the area and he kept going back there, even though his mum had moved him out of the area. He was with a big group when two boys came along shooting he was hit i'm devastated i knew he would be safe at home with me but he went there and now he's dead another mother is grieving enough is enough the government needs to act to stop the bloodshed his sister said he wasn't just my brother he was my best friend everybody loved him he made everyone feel good i'm heartbroken former classmate says he was a popular boy with bags of potential he was always generous cool person the footage a cctv filmed him outside the cinema moments before and this was shared on social media it also appears to show him lying in the foyer surrounded by armed police and shocked onlookers after being shot. The witness said they saw two boys in balaclavas on a black scooter come round the corner and one in the back opened fire as they was rolling past. I saw his body on the floor but his friends were around him. I didn't know until later it was Calvin. It's a war zone around here. And basically what really, sh and, and apart from the fact of rest in peace to Calvin, he was obviously a, should never have happened, absolute tragedy. But the way that the police have almost condone the mother's dismissal of any association. I get this all the time and every case I cover with the young murders that are occurring is that oh so and so was associated to this person or so and so was in this music video or something that comes out afterwards that I didn't know about and at the end of the day I can't speculate or talk about anything where I don't have evidence if, if you say a child in the comments was associated to a gang if I can't see that evidently then I cannot comment on it it's not it's all I can talk about is what is freely available in the public domain but what shocks me with this case is they openly talk about his name being dip that and then they say he has no gang affiliation but he was a rapper and then they say that he, he didn't even live in, in Wood Green and in actual fact big member of WG and he had a lot of tracks online and all of his tracks were aimed at his opposition there was it's shit in your chest that you never mentioned I track while you're stuck on pension still ride out yeah with my section still talk up a nigga that's slipping dip that man's known for the dippings got ribs on the back of a 125 really trying to do what pissing all violently based all sending direct shots at other people and talking about crimes that he committed 
related to his rivals. Wood Green have a lot of beef with a lot of different areas. They don't really care about allegiances like that. Their main beef is with the whole, pretty much the whole of North London, Tottenham, which is MBK, Northumberland Park, and also OFB, which is like Broadwater Farm Estate. And they're their main prominent beefs along with Sin Squad. End of the day, dip that as a name. It means to stab somebody. Dip that meaning to dip into somebody's human flesh and stab somebody. So his name as a whole is a gangster name like then the tracks he's saying are some of the most it's just confessions he's talking openly about the crimes he's doing and the, and the life that he's living which to me was mind-blowing due to the fact that he had these opportunities and the support system around him but if we ignore that like I understand the parents because at the end of the day you may not know the lengths or the extent to which your child was involved with the streets and also during grief you just shut down and you you just want to pretend like everything was perfect do you know what i'm saying there was absolutely no reason for it when in actual fact what what's being created is fear among the children they're thinking that random children for no reason whatsoever are being shot dead outside the cinemas for no reason when in actual fact there is nobody ever that he's completely innocent along any borders something has gone on to create somebody to believe that they want to go out and shoot somebody and commit a murder of another ch a young man there's it's just logical so we are doing nothing but putting fear in the children and also not resolving the issues by discussing it openly calvin was f associated to gangs he was involved with the gangs if anything he even did link ups with nottingham gangs so he's he was spreading his reach across the country so he must have been a very active member to have any sort of chance of being able to do all that and be able to do it for as long as he did which is his tracks spread out over about two years an instagram snapchat post sort of popped up around online which was associated to north gang mpk sin squad which actually said the ops need to go and get netflix because they're not even safe chilling outside the cinemas which was a direct insinuation to the murder of dip that there was many arrested so I, there was there was arrests that was made but in regard to an actual conviction i found nothing in regard to a conviction so another unsolved murder along with the others that are in the area that i'll be talking about in the near future so wood green is it's just like another new one really it's it's quite insane to the amount to the degree that we are ignoring the issue because we don't like the narrative that it creates at the end of the day calvin did not deserve to die calvin shouldn't have died and calvin would be sorely missed by everybody and whatever he said or did probably would never have resulted in in a murder it shouldn't have occurred but for us to ignore the fact that he was associated he was rapping about threatening other people and he had a lot of bars that was directly talking about that stuff so to say that there was no reason and the motive is wrong place wrong time to me is frankly offensive it's offensive offensive to the youngers and it's offensive to my intelligence because we know better i'd love to hear what people have to say on this please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe the scar city studios youtube channel had man dashing, jump out of photo, one, two, five, on a Tuesday crashes. More to my lacking, still got a sinister dashing. Come as no splashing. Things in the backs, you just get